I'm concentrating this presentation on the structure I labelled 1308. It's interesting because for the first time I found, again I must say a typical structure where you've got an excavation or a tunnel, larger bright white rods on one side, a zigzag type of excavation around it, like a courtyard, and on this side very fine ring of rods on the opposite side. But now we found an internal rod that's actually larger than the rods on the outer edge of the um, of the structure. So we we'll use the, the ruler apparatus and I just try to pick one there. It's a bright white line from there down to about 40 meters. So we estimate the average of those ones about 40 to 50 on the outside. And I should point out, you'll see a fair a bit of a greenery happening. I won't call it vegetation, but on earth and in green is usually vegetation. Um, I haven't read any literature that actually stipulates that this a greenery could be actually due to a chemical reaction or anything like that on the moon. So I still <coughs> believe it could be obviously vegetation. If we use the ruler now, the internal rod is a, a massive 80 meters. So it's twice as large as the towers on the outside. It's very unusual. Now if we apply the time of a day for sh shadows happening, you'll see this disappears at certain angles of sunlight. So it shows it's actually internal. And also the interesting point about this tower, this rod, is it's actually perfectly horizontal. Most of the others I've seen in excavations are actually um, sticking out like these two on the side. So obviously this means this crater at least is about 80 meters deep if we assume it's the same size as the one horizontal. But I think they could be much deeper. Um, so that's um, one of the first times I've actually seen that effect as well. It's very unusual. If we just zoom in, I'll zoom out, we see a very large one there as well. And that shows the type of effect I was talking about, larger rods on one side. Larger ones on one side and just the points of them on the inside. And you'll see the zigzag formations around the outer edge. Again, this is surrounded by a, a, a lot of greenery happening in the area. And up to now, it just highlights the same sort of pattern we see elsewhere. What we have interesting is three rods occurring. Where we've got a zigzag formation around them. And the area is very green. And these seem luminous on that side too. So we'll just actually zoom out. And generally the rules, if you see one, you'll probably see one other similar in the nearby area. So it seems to hold on. That rule of thumb seems to work. Again, the others have nice patterns like that one there. You can see a very a definite zigzag pattern on the other side there. If we focus on this area, we'll see these larger craters also have these towers, and we've seen that before. And the astronauts actually reported standing on the, on the edge of these type of uh, craters and they can't see the uh, bottom of them. It indicates they're actually more like tunnels rather than just craters. Here we have a very long rod that's 240 um, uh, uh, metres wide on the edge. Just use the ruler, and generally this is the a longest type of horizontal a rod that I found. About 240 meters is usually the longest I found in these um, views I've seen. Again, we've chosen a similar type of crater. We see the larger rods on one side only, and internal ones usually stick up as rods. 
to film them exactly there. And occasionally we'll come up against very really clear examples. But we'll skew that the resolution is very poor. Cool. This represents an interesting one as well because there's more of a pronounced zigzag type of formation on the opposite side. We've got two or three internal ones there. And as we just go across the landscape, we've come across other ones everywhere. And the average size is about 40 or 50 metres for these rods, so that's about 12 to store a metre. In here we have a group there on the edge of the crater. Two on the side there, then the internal ones there. And it's becoming fairly green. This is an interesting shape there. Where we see the zigzag pattern around it. And to be honest, I think this is probably the last video because I've just gone endlessly through all the types of formations and patterns that exist. And I'm getting even bored myself. There's um, not much else to see. So I've virtually analysed every square a metre of landscape here in this area with high resolution. We've got three or four towers there. One's actually sideways. You've got the a room on the other side. We've got that nice square excavation unit. The straight line edge. Here we have the bright tower, the internal ones on the inside. And this is a larger complex. It is composed of individual short and long rods. They're very luminous. And um, there's a less of a pronounced effect around the edges. I don't see much of a zigzag pattern on the outer edges. I'm not 